That's the cops. turn the fan off it's like 90 degrees all right where are we at uh, i've got the motor mounted with the actual hardware i did end up buying a little bit longer bolts because these were i wanted to put a washer on both sides i have this um, box of these cool like heat treated washers that i got from some racing go-kart guy yeah heat treated. and some grade eight nuts, but I, I had to go buy what did I end up getting. These are five sixteenths, eighteen, one and a half. So I've got it mounted. I cut a chain, and uh, I'm using old chain to mock this up. I don't know if I explained why, because this stuff's already stretched. So if you build something and you use brand new chain, which I have. Uh, sometimes it'll stretch and then you won't have the room you need to tighten the chain up. So I do it with old chain. I've got everything stripped off. The tank does not fit, which I don't care. I already bought one, but check this out though. This is kind of cool. Hold on, hold on, holding on. Um, I mean, it's kind of lame really, but the stock air box, which I have a brand new one over there on the shelf. Hi, kitty kitty. Every time I start filming, she comes in here. Uh, I got the stock air box probably will fit. It's not even a close fit. It just fits. You know, like look at the frame clearance here. It's fine. So the, we'll run that for now. But today, what I want to do is I've got some stuff. This is my go-to stuff. I know this is janky. But these are bike handles. And I'm going to make exhaust. I've got the, over here, ugh, oh, I'm not prepared. I've got the factory, super rusty exhaust, so I won't feel bad about cutting this up. I'm going to cut the flange off. And I cleaned all the paint off of this one. It's got two angles. Maybe I can, you know, chop it up. And with that muffler I got, I might be able to make an exhaust. And what I want it to do, I want it to come out. And then kind of go under and shoot out back here. Like put it right here, possibly. I think that'd be really cool. So let me, uh, I'm going to cut this off and then mount it up. And then we're going to start cutting up this stuff and tacking it in place and see what I can come up with for an exhaust. Is that everything? Uh, yeah, it's off the Newton crate. Or the milk crate or whatever you call it. Yeah, that's it. All right. Woo, that's warm. Oh, there, it's off. Oh, it's got, it's just, uh, See, when you cut these off, you can get that little piece of pipe out. Give me a minute, I'll get that out. Three. Come on, you can do this. So close. Can you see that? touch this yet uh, that little piece there is being a little give me a minute there that's okay so I've got the pipe or handlebars or whatever 
And I cut some, uh, you know, like I just kind of eyeballed a couple of angles. Now, uh, this one, the rest of the handle, I think if I do something like, I'm not exactly sure. I don't know, this is starting to look like, I'm trying to get this pipe to go under the seat. So we'll start with this piece. We'll get this tacked in place. I might go up a little high so I can clear this nut. And then um, I can always take it off and trim it if I need to. So let me get the welder and we'll tack, tack this thing. Something like that. Something like that. Maybe up so I can curve it around in this way. I don't know, we'll see. Let me get my welder going. Let's we'll just kind of uh, point this somewhere and then we'll uh, put a tack on it. I can always bust it off later if I don't like it. I hope my gas is off. Hold on. That's a nasty looking weld. I oh, hope that doesn't come across on camera. Okay. Another one. Hold on. Right here. And this one. Okay. So far, so good. Now, if I could just, uh, honestly, I can just do a little, you know, pie cut here and get it to go be going straight. So. Let me get a, make another cut, and then we'll see see where we're at. Okay, so I made like a, a little less than 45 degree cut. And it seems to be getting us kind of right where I want it. So I'm going to put another tack on this real quick. Oh, that was bad. Come on. There we go. And that's, when this is tight, that'll be like, kind of straight out the back. Yeah, now I just need to cut this off back here somewhere. I guess as long as I can make it and uh, I'll just cut it. I, I've been using the bandsaw. Um, before I had the bandsaw, I just used the, uh, you know, cutoff wheel on the angle grinder. But now I have the porta band, the little Harbor Freight porta band. There's no gasket in here either. Um, duh, you know, you don't want to have a gasket when you're talk, tacking stuff in. Okay, so I'm going to go over here. Uh, can you see me? I'm going to go over the bandsaw right where it starts to bend. I'm going to cut this. So, you guys want to watch? Watch out. Bad camera work coming in. Here we go. Uh, I still have a big giant mess here, but, you know, whatever. I, oh, yeah, you're already recording. I was going to push record. A straight cut so put this back on the bike and see how it looks all right it's back on there i mean it's a little angular right here but once i weld it and grind it it'll look a little more smoother and uh this is the muffler i plan on using i might just cut off the threads oops i might cut off the threads right here so this will probably look like something like that nice and tight Woo! 
Yeah, that's a little crooked. I might grind that. That's all crooked. Let me grind that a little flatter. Okay, so. <clears throat> So you can get this on there. I did grind it a little flatter, but you know, like Terrell says, it ain't the space shuttle. It not have to be perfect. Woo! Well done, flip flops. Do not recommend. There we go. So none of this is set in stone it's all just tacked got two tacks on everything one there one there one there one there and two on this guy so let's put it on the bike and just see how how well it looks and then if i like it we'll just weld the whole thing up all right so uh, i got you out the stand here we'll take a look like i said that looks really rough right now until i weld it and then i should smooth it out and then back here, I mean, that looks really slick, actually. Clears everything. Tucked under nice and tight. I, You know, I think this is going to work. So let's just weld this thing up. You know, what do you think, huh? I think it'll be cool. All right, here we go. hope my settings are good. That's right where the nut needs to go. I have to grind that. I don't know, I like to weld hot and then come back and grind it and weld it again and then grind it and weld it again. That's that's kind of how I do it, you know? <laughs> okay, so I've dolled it up. Um, I took a uh, flap wheel or whatever to the middle one and smoothed it out. I left these ones alone, except for this one I had a clearance with a cutoff wheel for the nut. This weld, I just cleaned up with a wire wheel. Um, this one, I tried to go over it again. I just ground it, so I ground it down. And, unfortunately, something inside the muffler. That's annoying. Um, but, so now what I'm going to do is, like I always do, and I have some, uh, some flat black barbecue paint, and I'm going to barbecue paint this whole thing. And then uh, we'll let it dry, we'll put it on, and we'll see what it looks like. So this is high heat, up to 1,200 degree barbecue paint. It's worked on all my other stuff. I just paint brush it on, nice and thick. I'll have to come back and touch up under this washer, but you get the gist of what I'm doing here.
Okay. Stuff dries pretty quick. I'm going to clean my paintbrush with some paint thinner. And then uh, I'll probably put another coat. You know, I'll touch up, but I'll do that off camera, and then we'll see what it looks like on the bike. All right, well, this is the next morning. The paint is dry to the touch, and uh, you kind of barely see. I put a new gasket in. Um, I don't know. I like it. It's, uh, I think it'll work just fine. I mean, that's a little kinky right there, but... Hey, it'll be all right. Kind of matches this angle here a little bit, you know? I don't know. All right. All right, guys. That's it for this one. You guys take her easy. Oh, oh, oh.